my brothers and sisters, we gather to worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. The voice cries out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. So let us listen and turn to the Lord in penitence and in faith, first keeping a moment of quiet reflection. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord God, we have sinned against thee. We have done evil in thy sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to thy love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew our right spirit within us, and restore us to the joy of thy salvation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself, and cleanse you from all your sins, that you may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In silence we pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight, for you are alive and reign with the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Zephaniah. Ah, soiled, defiled, oppressing city, it has listened to no voice, it has accepted no correction, it has not trusted in the Lord, it has not drawn near to its God. At that time I will change the speech of the peoples to a pure speech, so that all of them may call upon the name of the Lord and serve him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, my scattered ones, shall bring my offering. On that day you shall not be put to shame because of all the deeds by which you have rebelled against me. For then I will remove from your midst your proudly exultant haught ones, and you shall no longer be haughty in my holy mountain. For I will leave in the midst of you a people humble and lowly. They shall seek refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong, and utter no lies, nor shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. Then they will pasture and lie down, and no one shall make them afraid. For the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. 
but later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second son and said the same, and he answered, I go, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two sons did the will of the father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Father, we pray for your church. We give thanks for a rich variety in culture and tradition. Pray for Matthew and Tramod, confirmed last night. And pray for our preparations throughout Advent for the celebration of the birth of the Christ child at Christmas. Lord, hear us. Father, we pray for our communities. We pray for all those additional communities from tomorrow living under Tier 3 of the COVID regulations. We pray for those engaged in education and today in particular praying for local schools breaking up this week. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we pray for the wider world, for light where there is darkness, for hope where there is despair. We pray for those parts of the world affected by natural disaster those parts of the world living under oppressive or dictatorial regimes. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we remember those in particular need at this time. All those whose lives are scarred by emotional mental or physical pain. All those awaiting or recovering from surgery. Continue to pray for Roy, for Mindy, Sally, young Aldi. For all those who have died in recent days, for Daphne James, Beryl Palmer, Lloyd Jones, priest, David West. For all of his anniversary falls at about this time, including William Lobby and Kenneth Hughes. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So we come before you now in a moment of quiet and make our own personal prayer. We gather of these and all of our prayers 
in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of all the saints, merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with us. And with thy spirit. Look upon us in mercy, not in judgment. Draw us from hatred to love. Make the frailty of our praise a dwelling place for your glory. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. We give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise. Almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For when he humbled himself to come among us in human flesh, he fulfilled the plan you formed before the foundation of the world, to open for us the way of salvation. Confident that your promise will be fulfilled, we now watch for the day when Christ our Lord will come again in glory. So we join our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven to proclaim your glory, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heart. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine as poor may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised them, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. Lord of all life, Help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. 
that with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with blessed Mary and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Where we are made, we are one body, and we all share in one love. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his side. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only. And my soul shall be The Lord be with you. And also with you. We give you thanks, O Lord, for these heavenly gifts, kindling us the fire of your Spirit, that when your Christ comes again, we may shine as lights before his face, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, 
be upon you and remain with you this Advent and always. Oh. Amen. As we await our coming Saviour, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks and be to God. God.